Let's look at this exercise to estimate the difference between two proportions. Okay, so a certain change in a process for manufacturing component parts is being considered. So samples are taken under both the existing process and the new process, so as to determine if the new process results in an improvement. So 75 out of 1,500 items from the existing process, so this is from the existing process, are found to be defective. And 80 out of 2,000 from the new process, this is from the new process, are found to be defective. So find the 90% confidence interval for the true difference in the proportions of defective between the existing and the new process. So from the class, we know that if we want to establish the confidence interval on P1, uh, no confidence in population, so it's P1 minus P2. So this will be uh, P1 hat minus P2 hat, okay? Plus minus Z alpha over two and the square root we have P1 hat, one minus P1 hat over N1 plus P2 hat, one minus P2 hat over N2. So 90% confidence interval, so 100, one minus alpha percent equals to 90%. So we got alpha equals to alpha equals to 0.1 and alpha over two will be 0.05, so z alpha two is z 0.05. So this we talked about how to get this value before, so this is 1645. And uh, we know P1 hat, P1 hat equals to 75 because this is the uh, existing process. So 75 over 1,500. So this is equals to 0 0.05. And a P2 hat, P2 hat. So it's uh, 80 over 2,000. So this is 0 0.04. Okay, now this P1 hat, let's put this number, this number and uh, this number into this uh, confidence interval equation. So this will become uh, 0.05 minus 0.04 plus minus 1.645 times P1 will be 0.05, P1 hat times 0.95 divided by N, this N with 1,500 plus 0.04 times 0.96 divided by 2,000. Okay, so this value will equals to um, 0 0.0117 and this is uh, 0 0.01. So the confidence interval P1 minus P2, 90%, is it 90%? Yes, 90% confidence interval right here. So it will become less than, so the plus sign, so it will become 0 0.0217, right? So one plus one and greater than minus 0 0.0017. Okay, so this will be 90% confidence interval for mu one minus mu two.
So this in this interval does include zero means that zero is uh, inside of this interval. So there is no reason to believe that the new process pro uh, produces a significant improvement or significant decrease in the proportion of defectives over the existing process. Okay, there is, uh, we don't we did not find enough like evidence that these two processes are different. So new process does not necessarily give us an improvement. So this is a uh, exercise. This concludes the exercise on estimating the difference between two proportions.